Mani Madhava Shakar was an iconic figure in the ancient art forms of Kerala. Mani Madhava can be accredited with revolutionizing Kudiyama and essentially saving it from falling with the feudal system that controlled India at the time. Kudiyama of Kerala is the surviving Sanskrit theater tradition of India and is considered to be about 2,000 years old. By tradition, the right to perform this is with the Shakar and Nambiar families, communities associated with the traditional temples. Mani Madhava Shakar was born on February 15, 1899, in the Kazakod district of Kerala. His father and mother were Vishnu Sarma and Savitri Itoma. Mani Madhava belonged to the Mani family of North Kerala. He was born into the Shakyar family, which is a subcaste of the Brahmin caste. The Brahmin caste is the most educated caste in the system. Mani Madhava being born into this caste gave him the opportunity to access ancient Sanskrit text teachings. Individuals went through various stages of training to become actors and actresses. This training began at childhood and would continue until he or she was able to perform alone. Once this confidence was achieved, the next task was completing a performance manual. These practices were important for actors and actresses at a young age as they learned how to perform and convey messages and emotions. Mani Madhava would go on into traditional training with his uncles to master the art forms. Under his uncles, he was able to learn the traditional Kudiyamam and Shakar Kuth. These uncles mastered the Sanskrit text just as Madhavi would. After a long process of training, Mani Madhava was ready to perform his first act. He performed for the first time at age 14 in Trikakun Temple of North Kutayam of Malabar. Throughout his career, he performed in numerous temple theaters that recognized the dedication and commitment Madhava had for his craft. From this dedication and commitment, Madhava is known as the master of Rasa Abhinaya, meaning the master of taste in the Indian art of expression. Kudiyamam was performed in theater temples known as Kuntampalas. The Kuntampalas were only accept accessible to Hindus. These traditions restricted access to people across the world interested in performing or enjoying Kudiyamam. They also stunted the growth of the art form. These traditions aren't practical in our modernized society. Adopting to new traditions helped create a modernized Kudiyamam. Many of these changes occurred in the early 20th century. The collapse of the feudal system in Kerala created a new problem for Kudiyamam in its existing form. The secular elite no longer controlled this art form. This turn of events almost led to the collapse of Kudiyamam as a theater art form. Mani Madhava understood the reality of the ancient art form in its current state and decided to go forward with saving it. Quote, My own people condemned my action. Once after I had given performances at Viacom, they even thought about excommunicating me. I desired that this art should survive the test of time. That was precisely why I ventured outside the temple. In 1955, Mani Madhava brought the performances of Kutiyamam out from the Kuntam Palace into the public view. Mani Madhava is largely considered the most influential guru of Kudiyamam in modern history. One of the first students to study under Madhava that was a non-caste member was Christopher Bursky. Bursky was a Polish student at Banaras Hindu University studying research. Another well-known student of Madhava is Dr. Farley Richmond, who studied and filmed Madhava in his performances. Kamala Devi a social activist in India reached out to Madhava to research costumes used in Kudiyamam performances. Mani Madhava's great work in Kudiyamam has led to an institution being named after him. Now commonly known as Mani Gurukulam, this institution still keeps its tradition and plays a major role in Kudiyamam training. His two sons are the present gurus of Mani Gurukulam. Mani Madhava Shakar is an inspirational example of what dedication can do. Mani Madhava looked to revive the art form at the expense of his reputation. In the end, he is celebrated as one of the most iconic performers and teachers in ancient Kerala arts.